Hi, this is Scott Spiro, and I'm coming to you from the Aria Hotel in Las Vegas, and I'm here to give you a quick tip about Apple's new iOS 5 app, iMessage. Now, in its simplest form, iMessage is a competitor against the BlackBerry uh, Messenger. It has some similar features, such as the ability to see when your message has been delivered to the other user, and there's an option that allows them to send you a response when they've actually read your message, which is kind of cool. But there's also some differentiating features, and specifically the differentiating feature is that you can share conversations across multiple uh, devices. Now, this is really cool. This means that if I'm having a, a conversation on my iPhone and I pick up my iPad, I can continue that conversation there. And likewise, go back to my iPhone or an iPod Touch and, and continue the conversation. So um, that's really cool. Now here's the one issue though, the one caveat that you need to watch out for, and that is on your iPhone, when you send a message to somebody, typically it's going to come from your phone number, right? And if they respond back to you, uh, it's true that the conversation can then go across multiple devices. But really what you want to do is set up the system so that your iPhone will send from your email address instead of your phone number. And that means that when the other user initiates a conversation with you, their message will go across all your devices. So how do you do this? It's really simple. You go to your settings app on your iPhone, specifically your iPhone. Go to the settings app, scroll down to the message app, and from there you will see the ability to add multiple email addresses. Go ahead and add some of your other email addresses that you might be using. And it will confirm these, by the way. It will send you a response to confirm that the email belongs to you. Then, scroll down a little bit further, and you'll see another sub option, and that is set up the caller ID. Set up your caller ID for the email address that you want to use. So now, uh, when you reply to somebody who has sent you a text message to your telephone number, you'll respond with your email address instead. And hopefully they'll get the hint, and moving forward, they will use your email address to send you their initial message. That initial message will be shared then across multiple devices. So that's my quick tip, and if you have any questions, it can get a little confusing, uh, leave a message for me here, and I'll be sure to, uh, to respond. Thanks a lot.